สวัสดีครับผมจันปาดนะครับกับ o v e r d i v e Live วันนี้ผมกำลังนั่งอยู่กับมือกีตาร์จัสตันหนึ่งนะครับที่มีชื่อเสียงมากๆในยุโรปนะครับแล้ววันนี้เขาก็มีชื่อเสียงมากๆในระดับ worldwide แล้วนะครับก็คือคุณอูฟเวกเนสครับตอนนี้นั่งอยู่ผมเลยเราไปคุยเรื่องดาวดนตรีกันกับเขาครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับว้าวซาวเซอร์เกอร์เย่โอเค practice practice yeah practice made perfect yeah yes yes โอเคอ่ะฮะ Ah, uh, first question. If I am a rock guitarist, yeah, I want to know. I want to get in the jazz music. Right. Can you teach me? Yeah. On your opinion? Yeah, I, I would say like this. That that's one of the classic uh, questions, <laughs> you know. Yes. I'm a rock guitarist, uh, and I want to sound jazzy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think what is really a very easy way to get into it is. Mm -hmm. Everything I grew up with was a riff. So if if it. you, if for instance you go from you know, let's say straight blues, oh, yes, mm. and you want to go jazzy, mm. and the easiest way is you have a rhythm called Charleston. It's like instead of playing, mm -hmm. you go like. Like a seventh chord, G7, okay. you know, okay. and you go like Charleston. Oh. And a half. And, and, and suddenly it starts to sound jazz. Uh -huh. And you think, what, I, what, what should I play? Mm. And then you can play if you have rock and roll, you know, like. Yep. Okay, I want to sound more jazzy. So you start away like that's the rhythm, mm -hmm. and you go like riffs, mm. and you can. And all the great jazz players played a lot of riffs. Mm -hmm. So, for instance. Uh, the blues is always the perfect thing to get into jazz because mm. everybody, you know, learn to play blues. You know, okay. that's what you start with. I started with, you know. Mm. So, so you have, for instance, if we play in G, you have uh, uh, the famous Duke Ellington C and blues. You okay. know, but it's in C, of course. I like. Mm. So it's, it's very simple. And you have uh, one tune written by Sonny Rollins called "Sunny Moon for Two." It sounds like rock and roll, like. Mm. Mm. Also blues. So the thing is, when you improvise, you coming out. You a rock player. And you play pentatonic. Okay. And then you should just learn some uh, uh, riffs which sounds more jazz, yes, like. Pentatonic. Pentatonic. Yeah. And you have, you know, like, like organ players used to uh -huh. play and all that. And the most important thing is, uh, which I always say, is it doesn't matter what notes you play. Mm. You can play any note in the world mm -hmm. as long as you have timing. Oh. You, so if you have the timing, okay. for instance, I always uh, use BB King as an yeah. example. Mm -hmm. He can go like. He can keep on those three, four notes forever yep. because of his timing. Yep. So the thing is, going from, I mean, most of the, the guitar players in the world are rock based, more than jazz. Jazz is the small part. Okay. So you can easily get into jazz 
by using riffs, you know, different kind of riffs, you know, and it, it's 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 only I mean you can just use your, your imagination, you know, like. Uh, Yeah, more jazzy. No, I'm more jazzy. Yeah. You can go like big bang. Mm. Back to it. BB King. Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah. the blues is everything, mm. you know. And the wonderful thing with blues is that you can you can get into jazz through the blues. That's the door opener. Mm. And and it's very you you don't have to be uh, a, a accomplished player, you can only learn this easy, you know, riffs. And it's almost like, you know, uh, you almost into... Oh, You're yeah. into Deep Purple, Lazy. Oh, yeah, 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 Lazy. Uh -huh. it's, it's jazz, that's, okay. you know. So it's very, it's very, you know, hanging together, you know. Mm. So, so it's it. That's what I would say to all rock and roll players. You know, just learn a couple of hip uh, riffs. You know, mm. and play this, and it sounds jazz. Mm -hmm. And it's it's much more. I, I heard what Martin Taylor was showing, and his style is so advanced. Okay. Uh, you okay. know, finger. Uh, you have yep, to. Finger, I mean, yeah. many, many, many years. You know, uh. but for. Uh, uh, a rock and roll uh, player that plays with pick, you know, yeah, it's, it's very fast. You know, yeah, uh, you can uh, very fast get into it, you know, and mm. get it sound a little jazzy, you know, like. Mm. <laughs> you know, easy mm. things, you know, so, mm. so, yeah. Have your favorite licks or lift? Uh, give me some, uh, maybe two or three. A favorite licks? Yep. Yeah, when I play blues, you know, I play like. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's one lick I play, you yeah. know. Uh, or I play, you know, I played many years, so I have those, you know. Uh, Stuff like that, you, you know. Play really fast. Do you have a yeah. uh, special technique or something? Yeah, um, there's also uh, many ask me about my pick technique, yep. and and the thing is, first you have to be really relaxed, okay. you know, in in the right hand, you know. And I kind of use up and down strokes, you know, and and. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 you know. I don't do it exactly all the time, okay, but you okay. know. So you see, I'm very relaxed, you know. In, mm, in yeah, yeah, you. So, so when I play difficult things, you know, like. Uh, mm. You know, you see, I'm I'm very relaxed, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole thing, and also what is very important, you know. Uh, Speaking about the right hand is also to get the tone, you know. Yeah. Also, those players that play in between jazz and blues, like Larry Carlton, for yeah. instance, his tone is everything. Yeah, his tone is very amazing. Amazing, and it mm. comes out of BB King. Mm. He's, he's, he loves BB mm. King, you know. 
So, so the, the tone, and also of course West Montgomery, George yep. Benson, all mm. the, the tone is everything. So you can, you know, really get it, you know, you know, you, you get it to, to sing, you know. Mm. So, so it's, it's, uh, and to be able to do that, you have to be relaxed. Everything is synchronization and relaxed. So your left hand has connection with your right hand, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, mm. so it's it's natural. Mm. So, so everything. I also say, you shouldn't think when you play. You shouldn't. Uh, it's like having a conversation. Mm. You shouldn't think of the grammatics when you talk. Okay. Yeah. It's the same with music. So you should be relaxed when you play. You should. You shouldn't think about your right hand. You shouldn't think about your left hand. You should just play what you hear in the moment mm. and what's happening in the band. You know, mm. and react to the band. You know. And, and it's, it's nothing like, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be technically advanced or anything. It's just that you have big ears, you know, <laughs> and, and you relax, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, I will always use, uh, as B.B. King, I mean, he could improvise with three, four notes mm -hmm. as much as the most advanced jazz, like John Coltrane, you okay. know. <laughs> but he can do it with... Yeah, I'm not the expert of BB King, okay. but you know. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Any advice for the rock guitarist? Mm -hmm. What song, which which tune, have to be good for start? For, to learning jazz? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I would say. Uh, some form of jazz blues, you know, oh, okay. you know, so, mm. so it should be like, you know, I would say one very good is, is uh, or, or something, you know, mm. it's almost rock and roll, you know, yeah. like rockabilly, you know, uh -huh. so uh -huh. it's it's riff, anything that riff based, you know, mm -hmm. is good for uh, for a rock and roll uh, guitarist to, to leap into jazz, you know. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's it's really important to play a lot with other musicians, you know. Okay. So you try it with, with, you know, other guitarists or other drums, bass, piano, you know. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you really get the feel together with people, you know, and, mm -hmm. and it, you know, it's, it's, it's it's a social thing, music, you know. Okay. You know, you, just, you do it with other people, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. yeah. You so. don't play it uh, only yourself? No, no, uh, exactly. Myself, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, you know. Uh -huh. You can practice at home, <laughs> but when you play with other people, you, you know, oh, you know, you, you know what you have to do, you know. So, mm. so it's, it's really, and it's most uh, fun also to play with mm. others. So, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you. But one, one question. Yeah, yeah. Every, every note you play, every time you you like a little bit swing, mm. swing a note. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I th you know, I'm uh, always think about time. You know, okay. uh, not thinking, but every for me, time is the most important thing. Rhythm, you know. Yeah. Groove. Groove mm. is everything. Okay. If it doesn't have groove, it it pointless for me. You know, mm. it, it doesn't have to be. You know, like. Uh, you know, mm. a groove in that sense, but it has to have some form of groove, you know, to, to make sense, you know. Even we hear like Carlos Santana okay. play like Europe or something, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. it's groove. Oh, yeah. Every note is groove, yeah. you yeah. know, it, yeah. it doesn't have to be West Montgomery, you know, or, or you know, like... Uh, mm. Mm. Everything now I'm just improvising, and everything I do is the rhythm, you know, yep. like. You know, it's, it's mm. everything is time. It's and, and also important is what I want to say also is that I started. I didn't start with jazz. Mm -hmm. I started with Led Zeppelin. 
okay. the purple. Uh -huh. That's what I started with. Uh -huh. So, so uh, and Eric, my son, he always say that when you play jazz, you don't sound like an old guy okay. playing jazz. Mm -hmm. You can hear the the riff and the rock thinking uh -huh. behind. Uh, I mean, I mean. Uh, <laughs> You, you know, all that stuff, you know, I, uh -huh. I grew up with it, you know, and, and <laughs> contemporary. Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> so that's I, I, in my playing too. Even mm -hmm. if I play with the jazz sound, mm -hmm. I, I don't sound like, you know, the, the old 50s guys, you know. Okay. I, I try to be, you know, mm -hmm. contemporary. So, so yeah. it's just interesting and it has to do with time, you know. <laughs> you have that in, yeah. in your back of your mind, you know, uh -huh. which I think makes the jazz more vital, you know, stronger, mm. you know. That's how I see it, you know. Yeah, so. Yeah. so last question. The yeah, really yeah, last yeah. Question. Uh, which rock song your favorite? Uh, what? The best, the best favorite song of the rock song. Rock song. I, I have to say, I mean, it, it's a cliche, but I have to say, you know, anything with Led Zeppelin, but Stairway to Heaven. Okay. I mean, how could you beat that? I mean, it's it's. No, oh, yeah. It's I wish I wrote it. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah, Me yeah. Too. I think it's, it's fantastic. You know, yeah. I grew up with it. You know, and so so there was the first group I loved was Led Zeppelin. Mm. Led, so Led Zeppelin two and three. You know, the albums. You know. Okay. So so it's for me it's 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 you know I really Stay love it yeah. Yeah, yeah I love that you know okay thank you for your time thank you yeah, thank you nice to meet you in Bangkok thank okay. you thank you man thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you. great <laughs>
but you add it in with in this swing instead of instead of no, okay, straight, straight no uh, so the swing groove and i would say that's the first step mm. to go from the, uh, the that type of groove when you have something like a, that type of groove and you switch a little bit maybe in b flat because okay. that's a jazz key more <laughs> yes i would call it you know it's more common in jazz than okay, rock maybe <laughs> yeah exactly so many saxophone players and all that like that so then you have to change how you play the, the your blues licks mm. and that's the first step and you can do that for a long time mm. Be yes and and kind of get that rhythm in and that feeling and then start to add some modal scales mm. like you have the the mixer lydian or something mm. like that and you, you just add that type of jazz thing mm -hmm. but you can mm. you know very simple and then you add on and add, add on more modal scales mm. to, to get more into jazz. Is it, it mean you, you say must to start with some, some the blue thing, jazz blue? Yes, thing. yes. It's, it's the best way to, yes, and to you transfer from rock to... Yes, and mm. you add on some jazz, you know, mm. the modal scales and then some jazz licks, but one at a time. Mm. And you keep that kind of you play some blues mm. and then you add one jazz lick and continue blues and add one. And that's the way until mm. if you want to become a jazz player, mm -hmm. you will eventually have a lot of jazz licks. Okay. And, yep. then, and and go back and forth between the jazz and the blues. It, it mean I have to learn a lot of jazz lick? It, yes, it, it, it eventually, if you okay. want to play jazz guitar, but, mm. but to, the way to do that, I would say, is to get the feel, the rhythmic feel of what mm. you play over. Mm. That's more important. Uh, that is very important to start with that, and then you add on the jazz licks. So th I would say that, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. do, you, do you have your favorite lick? For sure, Sam. Mm, it's um, something like that, you know. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. it can be something like that, you know. Yeah. And that that can be in, in many styles and in many keys. Something like that. Yeah. And that's a Scott Henderson lick. Oh. So play it over acoustic or. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, or oh, that's a Schofield lick okay. played over. <laughs> uh -huh. So something like that, you know, with that, when I say Scott and Schofield, is the sound is what they have created a lot mm -hmm. that I incorporate in, in this style. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you play rock too? I play um, rock uh, like mixed music. So mm. let's say it can be rock funk or rock mm. blues. Yeah, but yeah, I love rock, and I play electric guitar with a overdrive sound, as you okay. know, it's, 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 this is called. Yeah. So uh -huh. yes, yeah, so that's what I mainly do. Mm. And and but I love to do this too. But it's uh, I my main thing, my first love is the electric guitar. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. You are the, you are the son of the Wolf Wagoners. Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, what is your father teaching you? Yes, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, well, uh, where should I start? <laughs> no, but he, he is, what he is teaching me, the, the most valuable thing he's teaching me is that it's just to see, uh, like for instance, now when I'm with him and, him and Martin, we've been touring and yeah. now we play here, is to see how they interact and how they approach music and how they play over something that can be very advanced, mm. very many chords, but they simplify it, mm. but still to keep it interesting, you know. Mm. So, so what is teaching me is to get the, like the the how you. Yeah, it's a good question. It's not we don't sit down much and yep, and, and, yep. and 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 he teach me licks or something, uh, but it's when we play together, I learn mm. so much. Mm. You learn from it. Yes, together. yes, the, the rhythm, the feel, how you know. How we change some things, you know, how to follow, how to, you know, take a solo and all that. So, so it's it's many many factors to that when we play. Yeah. It means you start playing guitar by yourself. Uh, I started to play and uh, by myself. Yes, uh, uh, I played rock. For okay. Yes, and, and 
then I heard Scott Henderson. Okay. And he mm. got me into being mm. serious mm. because I, uh, he knocked me. Okay, <laughs> he was okay, so fantastic. Okay. So him, right? since yep. then, yes, I, I, I think that that's what I love most mm. with guitar. So I, 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 I love him. I love Mike Stern and okay. that type oh, of yeah, you love yeah, the guy. yeah, exactly. And and type of the type of grooves they play mm. and 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 yeah, that, that vocabulary. Mm. But playing with my dad and Martin, I, I I learned how you know how to how to love jazz guitar and and someone like Chet Baker when he sings and plays mm. trumpet. Mm. So so yeah. it's it's a good mix. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Last question. Yeah. Any advice? Uh, to be a good musician? Uh, yeah, well, I would say to play live mm. uh, as much as possible mm. and play with different musicians um, and different styles okay. and, and dare to, to play different, like acoustic, okay. electric, mm -hmm. um, and just get into different situations mm. where it can feel um, like a new situation, mm -hmm. can, feel, can, can feel scary sometimes mm. and uh, maybe uncomfortable in some ways, but that's the way. Mm. You do that and you get into that over and over, mm. you know, and you will grow from that and you will learn fast. Mm. So, so, so to play with different musicians, different styles mm. and different type of guitars too, mm. And then when you find something you really like, you, 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 that can be your main thing, but you should keep trying mm. different things and, and uh, yeah, be curious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you so yeah, much. Maybe next time we're uh, talking longer than this. Yeah, yes, yes, it would be great. Okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, thank oh, you. Okay, thank you. Kop